Welcome to Milac Online Tutorial. Before us is this question that says A uniform beam PQ of mass 20 kg and length 5 meter is balanced as shown below. A man of weight 800 newton stands at M such that QM is 2 meter. Now the reaction at P and Q respectively. Ah. Now here is the diagram given. Now we must ensure that we understand the question because every information in the question is actually not given here. All right, like the mass of the beam is actually not here. And take note, the mass of the beam now we act at the center of this beam. So let us have uh, another diagram of this. So and take note of uh, the reaction. Now, this arrow should be showing upward, so which means this reaction are pointing what upward. So, in this case, now we drawing the diagram, you have it like this. So, uh, for the weight, which is 20 new uh, 20 kilogram, okay, let us have it more. Let us see, this is the center, which is a uh, 20 kilogram. The weight now will not be 200 newton. How do I get 200? That will be 20 times uh, 10. You might still be wondering how I, how I got that. So here we have, uh, okay, that the weight equals mass times acceleration, which is 20 times what 10 will give us what 200 newton. All right, with this, so here, this man here, our hem is given that the weight is what 800, so it's also acting downward. This is uh, 800 Newton. Take note, this is the center. Now, this one is acting upward P, this one too is also acting upward Q. Okay, so in a nutshell, this upward force must balance the downward force. Okay, so let us ascertain the distance. Distance we are we are told here is what uh, this is two meter. All right, now let us take note of this. If from here to here, that is from here to here, is five uh, meter, and here is the center. Right. Let me have a, a better diagram. This is five meter. Okay. Now here is the center. Let us O, which means from here to here, we give us a 2.5, right? Okay. And if here is a two, automatically here is a 0 0.5. Okay. So, which means from here we can now resolve that the upward force is equal to the what the downward force, which means that uh, P plus Q is equal to the downward force, which is what 200 plus 800. All right, now the question is what is the value of P and Q? All right, now let us quickly uh, resolve, okay. Now, let us take a moment about P, so which means we we'll move towards this side. So, this Q times 5, that is re that resolving by this, that is the force times the distance. That will be Q times 5. Now, we give us, uh, now resolving this to this, that will be 800 times the distance here will now be 2.5 plus 0.5 now 200 that will be plus 200 now into 2.5 okay so resolving this further this is a 5q equals a, this is 800 times this plus this will give us a 3 Yes, 0 0.5 plus, that will be 3. 
now plus now this times this 200 now this one should give us a uh, resolving it here will be 200 times uh, 25 over 10 this cancel here so we are left with 20 and that will be 500 yes 20 times uh, 2 times that will be 50 that will be 500 so here we have a uh, 500 times this okay sorry this will be 500 generally okay so here we have a uh, 5q will now give us this is 2400 2, now plus 500 now this will give us a uh, 2900 okay all right moving further so here we can now see that Q equals to dividing both sides 5 5 here. So here we have a 2900 divided by 5. 5 here 1. 5 in a 29. This should give us a 5. Right? Yes. I mean that 4. Now in 40 here we have 8 then 0. So for Q here it is what? 580 now take note this plus this will give us this so here we have a, a p plus q equals to 1000 so here p you know 580 equals to 1000 which also implies that uh, p 1000 then minus 580 and this will give us zero this will give us a two now here we have what nine here we have all right so in a nutshell p here equals to 420 newton and our q equals to 580 newton all right this is the final answer to the question and if you love what i've just done please can subscribe to my youtube channel and sure you click on the notification button to be notified of every video all right Thank you and God bless you.